David, and I'm giving you a call back from US Healthcare. How are you doing today? Oh, very good. Glad to hear that. God bless you, sir. Uh, you uh, you are 62 years old, and uh, you don't have Medicare or Medicaid. Is that right? Yes, yes, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> I guess he gave up. Oh, very good. Thank you. That's good. Well, we are reaching out to you to provide you with some detailed information on your Medicare benefits and how we can lower down your copay. So, I believe you do have Medicare Parts A and B, right? Yes, yes, I do. Great. How old are you? 67. Perfect. That's all done for my side. Now I will transfer this call to the Medicare Verification Department so they can guide you further. All right? Thank you. Thank you so much for taking this call. My name is Jason. I'm the Medicare Verification Department. How are you doing today? Oh, very good. Thank you. Jason, you chicken. <laughs> You doing today doing good? Oh yes, thank you. God bless you with very very good health. Well, sir, are you receiving your stimulus check, cash back, and food stamps from your Medicare? Are you receiving that or not? I I don't believe so. No. Sir, do you and do you have Medicare Part A and Part B? Yes, yes, I have Medicare Parts A and Part B. That's the reason we are calling you to provide your missing benefits that you are not yes. receiving and you may qualify without any cost and obligation. Okay. Now, sir, without wasting your time, kindly can you tell me how old are you? 67. 67, that's perfect, sir. And, sir, uh, your five-digit zip code is 34483. That's perfect. 34483, I don't even know where that's at. That's, that's not my zip code. And your name is Carl Walter. That's per correct? Yes, yes. Okay, that's perfect, sir. And sir, uh, at the age of 67, I believe you make your medical decisions by yourself. That's correct? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, perfect, perfect. And sir, do you have any state assistance like TRICARE or VA retirement plan? No, I was never in the military. Do you need to update my record with my new with my new zip code? Yes, sir. Okay, the new zip code is three two two zero two. Okay, three two two zero two. Right. Okay. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's a pretty much information, so I need to verify. Okay. Okay. Let me bring the senior supervisor from your local area. When you talk to him, just simply let them know that you have Medicare Part A and Part B, but you haven't received your benef uh, Medicare benefits, okay? He will further assist you, okay? So stay on the line. Here we go. Goodbye. Uh-oh, what just happened? Stay on the line, sir. Stay on the line, okay? The yeah, connection I'm... was bad, that's why. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, I'm still here. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. You should have a drinking glass. Every time he says okay, everybody drink. Hello, are you still there? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm here. I'm here. I'm connecting. I'm connecting you. Okay. Uh, okay. It just. It just. The line went. Went silent, and I wasn't sure if I lost you or not. Hello. Hello. So there's a bad connection. Okay. So okay. I'll call you back later. Okay. I. I apologize for that. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Company have made some changes. Update your TV receiver box. Okay. By any chance, are you watching the TV right now? Oh uh, yes, yes I am. Okay. How many TVs and receiver boxes do you have? Um, let me see. We have three TVs. I believe they all have boxes. You have three TV and three receiver box. I am a right. Yes, that's correct. I am a right. 
Yes. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Which, com which company do you have? Well, what company are you calling from? Calling from your cable company. Oh, of course. And what's the name of my cable company, miss? Calling from your spectrum. Well, there you go. Hello? Yes, can you not hear me? Hello? Hello? Sir, which company do you have? You're calling from Spectrum, right? Is that not my cable company? And? Sir, may I know your first name? Well, you called me. You should know that. I know, but verification, okay? No, that's not how this Sir, works. You should address me by my name when you call me. So what who are you what is my name? That's right. She the part of the conversation that we missed was she said she was calling from my cable provider, which is always funny. I'm calling from your cable provider. I don't know the name of your cable company. I don't even know your name, but I'm calling from your cable provider. Love it. I love that they keep calling. This is Mike from Obamacare Center. How are you? Oh, very good. Sir, well, this call is regarding about Obamacare, which includes all of your medical bills. So kindly tell me how old are you? 62. 62. Sir, what's your report? 32202. Two. Okay, sir. Do you have Medicare or Medicaid? No, I'm I'm not old enough for Medicare. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, sir. Sir, you are perfectly qualified for Obamacare. I transfer this call to state license again. Even if your number is listed in any state or federal, don't call it. Okay. Oh, okay. Sir, please please stay on the line, sir. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi. Thanks for holding on the line. This is Ada, Senior Health Advisor with the Obama Care Program. How are you doing today? Oh, very good. That's perfect. Well, you called and transferred to me because we showed some interest in getting information or possibly getting enrolled in Obama Care Program. That's designed to cover 100% of your medical needs. So, may I know, do you already have Medicare, Medicaid, or V insurance? No. Okay, you don't have any other insurance, health insurance? No, I don't have any health insurance right now. Okay, got you. Then you perfectly qualify for this plan that starts at zero dollar. Just let me transfer your call to the licensed agent in your area who will assist you further regarding that, right? Oh, I, I thought you were the licensed agent. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be very soon, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, and uh, may you know what's your zip code? Three two two zero two. Three two two zero two. Mm -hmm. Five. All right, just bear with me, and here we go. Okay. Have <laughs> dialed. Is not in service. Please check the number and try again. What was that? All right, no problem. Then the chance they... What happened oh, well, there? Uh, you know, sometimes the license agents... Yeah. Sometimes the license agents are busy assisting other customers or the number is out of reach. So uh, we are working with multiple license agents. If one is not available, we can transfer you to another one. Oh, okay. So this is something like that. Let me transfer you to another one. Okay, there we go. Hopefully this number will work. I don't think that worked. Oh, still ringing. Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> it's kind of like playing Russian roulette. Maybe you'll get somebody, maybe you won't. This is a courtesy call for AT&T and DirecTV customers. We have a promotion running in which we are helping our customers dropping down their monthly bills. Press one and be directed to a live representative. Thank you for your response. We would now like to transfer you to a full ticker for just a few more questions. Please stay on the line.
Thanks for staying on the line. This is Max. How are you doing today? Oh, very good. Thank you. All right. So the reason to call you is to provide your discounts on the current bills of your TV, internet, and home phone. Sounds good? Oh yes, sir. That'd be great. All right. So, sir, can I have your name, please? Timothy Williams. Timothy Williams. All right. Can you please spell that out? T I M O T H Y is my first name. All right. Last All right. name is W I L L I A M S. All right. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me how much you are currently paying for your uh, TV, internet, and home phone, Mr. Williams? Um, I think the last bill was around a hundred and fifty-five dollars, somewhere in that range. All right. And uh, how many TVs do you have, sir? Three. Three TVs. All right. So, do you have a cell phone from AT and T? No, my cell phone's with a different company. I don't know why I say that because it's true, but why did they hang up on that one? I don't know why. Oh well, they'll call back. Yes, hello sir, good day. My name is Rain, calling from the vehicle service contract. And our phone indicates here that you have a 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan with a mileage of 100,000 miles on your odometer and a zip code of 32225. Is that right, sir? Yes. Okay, great. So at this time, sir, I'm going to bring in a coverage specialist to go over all the information with you, okay, sir? So please hold the line for a second, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you for holding. My name is Tabitha. I'm one of the authorized agents. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you just fine. Wonderful. Well, sir, the reason that you've been transferred to me is the vehicle has passed its cutoff point for full car coverage. Just to verify this recorded line, has there been any fluid leaks or mechanical problems that have been unreported with this vehicle recently? Don't you guys usually call yourself instead of having somebody else call for you and then transfer you? No, sir. We are the we are SunPath LTD. We are the underwriter to the administration that pays the claims directly to the manufacturer, sir. Right. And the reason why we've contacted you on this recorded line mm -hmm. is because it shows in our system that you are past the three year, thirty six thousand mile factory coverage, and that has lapsed, and that is due to no action being taken of this vehicle, and it is at its eligibility deadline. Oh, okay. So the fact that somebody transferred me to you has nothing to do with the national do not call list? No, sir, it does not. It is our job to contact you, sir, because you are in our system as the final notice. Oh, okay. What's my name? Yes, sir. That's right. Say it again. What is my name? Carl Walter, is that correct? Oh, okay. Or a 2010 Dodge Grand Car Caravan. Yeah, yeah, you're calling for Carl, huh? Okay. Is that you, good sir? Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Well, being that the vehicle is in good running condition, the final application on the table is an additional five years of care. Mm -hmm. For the full five-year term, sir, you're going to be at the highest level of coverage available. This is going to cover your engine, transmission, transfer care, your drive axles, air conditioning unit, heating, cooling, and fueling systems, as well as all seals and gaskets. Most importantly, it's going to cover the expensive electrical system as well, and that's going to be the key to keeping this vehicle in good running condition, because I see here sure. until 2010, and we're going to want this vehicle to last as long as we, we can, sir. Oh, absolutely. And of course, the electrical components of the vehicle are the most costly due to they can't be repaired like and rebuilt like the engine and transmission. They have to be reprogrammed and replaced. So whenever you do need a repair, you can take your vehicle to any little Dodge dealership. And that is what we do recommend because we work directly with them. Sure, now, sure. And I'm sorry, could you tell me SE. what was the name of your company again? I'm sorry. Absolutely. We are SunPath LTD. We are the underwriter to the admin. And like I said, we pay claims directly to... Okay. Excuse me. We pay claims directly to Dodge. We've been doing this for the past... I'm probably going to say 37 years, sir. Okay. We are A-rated with the Better Business Bureau. Yeah, what's your website? Let's try Let me pull that up for you, because sir. Okay. It is SunPath... LTD.com, sir. Okay. I'm, I'm this just... basically to extend your... Yes, sir. Go yeah, ahead. I'm, I'm just filling out this uh, report with the Federal Trade Commission. 
Um, what was your What was your you name are again? Recorded line. Yes, I understand Absolutely. that. My name is Tabitha. What was that again? My name is Tabitha. Tabitha. So Tabitha with Sunpath completely ignored mm -hmm. the National Do Not Call list. Had a third party contact me in order to transfer me to her. You're more than well, you're more and than has no problem with that, but it is our job to get in touch with you. And like I said, we're the underwriter to the admin. We pay do you know what kind of? Do you know what kind of? Do you know what kind of? Do you know what kind of penalties your company can pay or have to or be pay or be fined for ignoring the national do not call registry? What is that, sir? Well, I'm I'm asking you. I don't know because I but I know I you can not. be fined. That's why I'm asking you if okay. you're aware of it. Because okay. just no, as you record your calls, just as you record your calls, yeah, I record all my calls. So I'm going to forward Absolutely. this along with this registry because I, I'm fairly certain I told you at the that beginning of this fine, call that I'm on the national do not call list. You. Like I said, you're in our system because you are past the cutoff point. And <laughs> after today, if I'm not able to get you on full coverage, the person at extension six one is unavailable. What the hell's that? Your message. Wow so rude oh just just I, I, I we're calling you because you're on our list by the way guys hi my name's Carl Walters you guys know for a fact that's not my name they're just calling people um, I don't have a Dodge Caravan uh, honestly I don't think I've had a Dodge Caravan in probably 15 years I definitely have never had a 2010 Dodge Caravan so the fact that I'm on there list is utter and total BS. Um, I, you know what's so funny is usually when you mention the National Do Not Call list, they usually say, oh crap, and hang up. This lady wanted to keep pitching because they're not afraid of it. So I'm going to definitely forward this information on and we'll see what happens. What a, what a meanie. <laughs> That's a nice way of saying it. Hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.